Welcome to the Angry Beekeeper. This is episode 9, and I was going to talk about uh, making excuses to be a terrible beekeeper. Okay, alright. Now, a lot of people ask me how I get through life, how I put up with everything. Let's just say this has been on my training table for years. Angry Beekeeper wants a drinky poo! Okay. But anyway, on a lighter note, I really want to thank KJ for coming out to the farm today, and she brought us this. This nice little sign. I think it's really cool. I thought that was really awesome she did that. So thank you very much, KJ. Now, we're called the Angry Beekeeper, and let me tell you, it is an angry household. Just today, my mother, God bless her, came over and brought me a pie, okay? And this is what she brought me. She brought me a pie, and I cut a piece. Can we see that? I cut a piece of pie, and apparently the household wasn't happy with how I cut my pie, and my daughter slash camera woman gave me crap for cutting pie that way so show them how you frigged your pie up i cut myself a simple piece of pie simple my ass you cut the good part off and donna and then you cut it diagonally like go live outside if you're going to eat like an animal it's an angry house but anyway what i really wanted to talk about was excuses to be a crappy beekeeper okay all the time People say, oh, my bees died in the winter, blah, 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 they died. Well, that, I think, is your fault, okay? You can't say that, oh, it was a hard winter, or it was colony collapse, or they were poisoned. 99% of the time, it's your fault, because you either didn't treat for mites, you didn't feed them properly, you didn't winterize them, there was too much moisture, there was something that you could have prevented, okay? And of those, I think the number one thing is treating for mites. All the time, I say, well, how, how did you treat for mites? My bees didn't have mites. They didn't have mites. Um, yes, they did have mites. And you didn't treat for them. Well, it was August, and oh my gosh, the bees were so strong, and they looked great. Once again, big, healthy colonies can have mites, okay? And what happens, all summer long, the bee population rises, and so does the mite population. And as they grow, the mites get stronger and stronger and stronger. And then, come September, the bee population starts dropping off, and still the mites continue to grow. And then the mites reach a critical mass that kills your bees. Okay, so you have to do something. Whether it's apivar, exotic acid, I don't know. But you have to do something to treat for those mites. Like I said, don't make excuses to be a crappy beekeeper, okay? Some things are time sensitive. You got to stay on your bees. You always got to be thinking three months ahead. What do I want this colony to look like in three months? What can I do now? You can't time travel and go back in time. You have to look forward into the future and get things where you want them to be. The other thing I hear in bees all the time is good enough. Uh, it's good enough. Good enough. Good enough. There is no such thing as good enough. It's never good enough. Because good enough isn't good enough. If it can be better, and better is not good enough. If it can be best. So you have to do every single thing you can to help those bees. It's too early to wrap them, but they should have enough feed by now because the weather's getting cold and you can't really feed them after this. Okay? So, once again, thanks for watching The Angry Beekeeper. Our motto is, I take care of the bees and eventually the bees will take care of me. Like, share, and subscribe, or it'll make me angry. Thank you. <laughs> you know how, like, you're watching a movie and the guy's having a drink, uh -huh. and then it's a different glass, <laughs> and then it's full of wine? <laughs> oh my god, literally. <laughs> we could do that, eh? Yeah. Uh, just... Did you move forward? Stop moving okay, forward. Okay, all right, here we are. Oh my are you God. ready? I've been ready for the past 50 seconds. <clears throat> okay. Hold on. All right, okay. One eternity later. Okay, hold on. Oh my gosh, it's like, it's like circus. Okay, anyway. Welcome to the Angry Beekeeper. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's okay, it's all right. <clears throat> Welcome to the Angry Beekeeper. Okay. Uh, today, I wanted to talk about not make excuse making excuses to be a bad beekeeper. Let's see what episode it was, oh, the name. Okay, we'll, we'll try it again. The 18th time's term, okay? <laughs>